Hi everyone, welcome back. If you have been struggling with background images distortion, where your images look stretched or squished, we have got you covered in this video. So today we are diving into a common issue that developers face, how to prevent stretching or squishing of background images. So first let's take a look at the problem. Here's our basic code with a background image set to cover the entire div like this. So as you can see, I have set the height of that div to 200 pixels. And this image that I'm showing you right now is 1024 by 768 pixels image, which should look like this one. But if forced to fit into a 200 pixel high div, it looks kind of stretched. Uh, it doesn't look that bad over here, but if I can show you in the big screen, uh, you can see it's pretty bad. Similarly, if the height of the container is a bit too much, like for example, if I say 900 pixels, then you can see uh, the result is equally bad in the other direction, right? So these are the issues that we are planning to solve in this video. So uh, this is happening because we have set the background size to 100%, 100% over here, which is forcing the image to stretch or squish to fill both the width and height of the container. This leads to distortion. It's either squished or stretched and loses its original proportions. Okay, now that you are familiar with the problem, let's go about fixing it. So as a first step, we are going to use background size cover to address the issue, which ensures the background image covers the entire container while maintaining its aspect ratio, right? So let's give it a try. So let me change the height to 200 pixels to demonstrate the results and change background size to cover, right? And the result is much better as browser did honor the aspect ratio, but the image has been clipped as a result. So the mouth is gone as a result of using cover. So this is still not good. What if you want the entire image to be visible without any cropping? So we can do that with background size contain. So let's give it a try. I'm going to change background size to contain. If you remember with contain, the entire image fits within the container and the aspect ratio is also preserved. But the downside is that if the container's aspect ratio doesn't match the images, you'll have empty space all around the image as you are seeing right now. And if you are wondering why there's empty space all around the image, so remember the image is applied on a div, not on the body. So it's not filling the entire viewport. So in fact, I can add a border around the image so to show the container area in which we are manipulating the image so you can see it is fully occupying the height of the image but uh, since the aspect ratios are different the there is empty space on the side using contain so let me remind you here that by default the browser is going to try to not leave any empty space around the image using the background repeat set to repeat. But since we are using no repeat here, uh, there's empty space being left. So if let's say I comment out background repeat, or if I can just remove the no dash part, which is exactly the same thing, you see the image will repeat itself to fill the available space, but it may not always look good depending on the size of the container. So let me also see what's the result in the larger browser. So here you can see if I do a full screen browser, you can see the image is being repeated multiple times. So uh, it's up to you whether you want this effect or the other one. So if I bring the no repeat back and show you the result in the large browser. Here's what it would look like. Okay, so you might ask that why, since we are using a div that is very narrow in height, that is causing this image to be that small. So what if we want to uh, take a step further and make the background image fit the entire viewport, right? So we can make the div 100% of the viewport height since it's a block type element with height being set to 100 VH, which is viewport height. So let's give it a try. So if I go here and set, the, sorry, set the height to 100 VH, which is 100% of viewport height, as since one VH is equal to 1% of the viewport height, this is the result. Now the 
div is spanning the entire viewport area and the image is now stretching all the way to the browser's uh, width but there's empty space above and below since again there's an aspect ratio difference between container and the image and let's see what the result is in the big browser so here we are and in case you are wondering why is this scroll bar here we set the height of the div to be 100 vh which should just span the entire viewport height and here we can see the div is exceeding the viewport height so the reason is body element in which this div is contained also has eight pixels margin on either side and one pixel border so if we want this scroll bar to go away we need to use calc which is kind of a calculation thing and we are going to say 100 vh minus 8 pixel plus 8 pixel 16 plus 1 pixel above and below for the border so total 18 pixels to be subtracted from 100 vh and now we see the scroll bar is gone uh, the div is exactly spanning the viewport with the margins of course which uh, make it look good and here in the big browser we can see the end result right so you can see here in the big browser which is much wider than uh, taller there is space on left and right but in the other uh, much narrower or squarish viewport uh, the space is above and below and remember the image was 1024 by 768 pixels and the most important bit is the image is now fully visible with zero distortions all right, so so far we have been experimenting with a large image, 1024 by 768 pixels, which is wider than taller. Uh, let's give it a try with a 50 pixel by 50 pixel image, which is of course our BG small, which is a star image. So let's give it a try. So I go back here and change the file name to BG small. Uh oh, the tiny image gets bloated way too much. The contained property tries to make the entire image fit but it ends up stretching the small image, which doesn't look great to say the least. To fix this, let's uh, remove the explicit height from the container and this would allow it to adjust automatically based on the image size. But no, instead it allowed the entire div to collapse into itself. But uh, the reason being background image is a CSS thing and is not a HTML element as such. So its height or width does not affect the height and width of its container. So instead of setting an explicit height, let's try adding a few lines of content in container and see how it performs. And you can see as soon as I added just a single line, the image reappeared. But, but note that as I add more lines, it would continue to grow in size and stretch with the growing image height as container is responsive and is trying to keep the image occupying any available space in container based on its aspect ratio. So the technique that we covered with large image so far does not work equally well with small ones. If you have a large area to cover with small images, your best bet is with tiling or repeating background, not a single image like this one. But before I show you results for that, let me remind you that all techniques we have seen until now are responsive, right from background size 100%, 100% to cover and contain, and they respond to height and width changes of container. With that settled, let's go on with our chapter for small image scaling. Since I mentioned contain is causing image to grow with size of container, let me first show you what happens if I just remove it. Looks good, right? But see what happens if I remove these two lines. Yeah, so with just a single line of content, you see we immediately run into issues with scaling. That is the image got restored to its original or intrinsic size. And note default line height in Chrome is around 16 to 18 pixels and our image is 50 by 50 pixels. So with contain not forcing it to scale down based on the container size, it is being clipped as its size is bigger than that of container. But that problem would go away as I add more content to the div. So if I restore these lines back and let's say I say so see, now the image retains its original or intrinsic size and remains centered in the div due to background position set to center. So depending on what size image you are seeing, you can use the available options to make the best out of available choices. All right, next I'm going to remove the restriction on repeat and see the result. 
Now, image is repeating, but it's no good with horrible clipping all around the edges. But we have a fix for that. Let me bring back the contain. Awesome, the results are much pleasing to the eye. In fact, they can be even better if I replace background repeat value from repeat, which is default, to space. Let's see what happens. Awesome, couldn't have asked for better, right? So space algorithm works by adding start and end images, this and this, first, both in horizontal and vertical direction. Since we have only one row, we can only see the horizontal, but it works both ways. And then it distributes the remaining space equally among other images of the same size. It adds or removes rows and columns in response to changes in height and width of the viewport. Therefore, you don't see any clipping. I think this is as good as it gets. There is a sister option called round, which scales the image up or down instead of manipulating the space. And though the video is getting lengthier, it must be shown as scaling is our topic of the day. So here goes. Looks equally good. And as I manipulate size of the container, the images would respond by scaling up and down instead of being removed based on space. However, I must bring up here that round is much more susceptible to clipping compared to space. All right, fine. as a final thing, let me apply this background on body element instead of a diff and show the results. All right, so now as I manipulate the viewport size, you see the clipping happening and node space would do much better. Okay, being aware of these limitations help you plan better depending on situation. Lastly, in case you are wondering why the background images are now filling the entire visible space outside of border of the body, which ends about here. Note body element is different from any other container element. There are videos describing this behavior and common issues as well as HTML background images playlist on our channel. So do watch those to get familiar with this difference as this is a topic of its own. All right, to recap, we have learned how to prevent background images from stretching or squishing by using background size cover and background size contain and background repeat space. And we have seen how to adjust container sizes for a perfect fit. You can mix and match these techniques to create the perfect background image scaling for your web projects. If you want to dive deeper into more advanced background image techniques, make sure to check out our full playlist called HTML Background Images on our channel Learn Awesome. And we got plenty of tips and tips waiting for you. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.